big New Year's Day explosion that destroyed three homes here, damaging dozens of others and also leaving five people hurt. Eyewitness News reporter Wakisha Bailey live in Port Richmond for us with more of what we're expecting to learn from city officials at that meeting tonight. A lot of questions still unanswered, Wakisha. Yeah, good morning, Janelle. That's absolutely right. But these city officials are coming together to figure out what these residents need right now. Now, as you can see, just from the looks of this area, it's going to be some time before these residents get their lives back on track. Now, Sunday's natural gas explosion leveled two homes, and a third one was damaged so badly it will need to be demol demolished. Five residents were injured, and one person had to be removed from underneath the rubble. Meanwhile, officials say 40 homes were were impacted. Over the last several days, Red Cross has been assisting neighbors. PGW has also been out monitoring the air quality and emergency management has been also assisting with trash removal and helping many get their personal items out of their home. Now today, Council Member Mark Squilla is holding a community meeting to gather information from residents about their immediate needs and hoping to come up with a plan so this doesn't happen again. In the late 90s, 99, something or maybe 2000 there was an explosion around the corner uh where there's still an empty lot there for the three properties that were destroyed at that time so you know and now this explosion seemed even more severe and that the damage to the house is behind it is there something in the infrastructure once this is determined to be what the cause is can we do something in the future to prevent this do they need any toiletries uh, food uh, assistance in any way if they think they need more assistance uh with the uh, trauma associated or anxiety issues that come about after this, I think we have to make those, you know, those opportunities available also. And just another one of the areas that's also been damaged is this community playground. Uh, kids and families are not able to use it right now until it is assessed because there may be some major damages there. Now, we are told that this is just the start of many of these community meetings. As we can see, these people will need help for some time. Now, that meeting will take place tonight at 6 o'clock at Columbia Social Club, and the address is on our website at cbsphiladelphia.com. Reporting from Port Richmond, Wakisha Bailey, CBS. Three eyewitness news. Thank you, Wakisha, for that update.